new grammar lesson is about diagramming sentences. Of course, diagramming is like to put in a diagram, and you already know this in math and sciences. Now, to diagram a simple sentence, write the simple subject and verb on a horizontal line. As you can see, the simple subject, the new computer arrived yesterday. Where's the simple subject? Computer. First of all, I put the slash before the verb, as usual. And then I look before the slash for the simple subject. Computer is the simple subject. I write it on the horizontal line. Then I go to the verb. The verb is arrived and I put it next to it. And I separate it, it and I separate them with a, a vertical line. After that, all the adjectives and adverbs or any other words, I put them on the slanted line. So the article, the adjective, and the adverb here. Okay, there's an article, new is an adjective, and yesterday is an adverb. As for when there's a direct object, place a direct object on the same line as the simple subject and the verb. Separate it from the verb with a vertical line also. An indirect object is placed under the verb. So mainly you have to know that the horizontal line includes above it the simple subject, the main verb, or the verb phrase altogether, if it's a verb phrase, and the direct object. All the rest will be down on the slanted lines. As for the compound parts, sentences that have compound subjects or compound predicates. For example, I love my dog and, and my cat. I is the simple subject, verb, uh, simple predicate, or, ver, or um, it's written on the same horizontal line. And because I have a compound predicate here, my dog and my cat, I can put them on two lines. So I divided here the diagram into two parts. I put dog and cat because dog is the first direct object, cat is the second direct object, and I put the slanted, or actually on the slant, the uh, possessive pronouns my, or actually it's the same one, so my. Here in the middle, the conjunction and. Same goes for here if the subject is a compound one. I put the simple subjects, one on the top and one uh, on the bottom line, but both have the same or share the same verb and the direct object, okay? The other parts of the sentence are always written on the slanted uh, lines.